Hey guys, this is going to be my review on the Shane High series from Esports Tiger. They were nice enough to send it from Esports Tiger and Addis. This is going to be their review. I'm going to start from like least favorite to favorite. This is going to be the head to or he to. Um, the pad itself is $34.99. It is a little smaller in size, I would say. So says it's 480 by 400 by four millimeters thick the color is like this galaxy color i really like that about the pad that's probably the best aspect of the pad to me personally the pad is shift flat the stitch edges no issues along those lines it's below the surface you shouldn't have any issues with stitch edging um the glide it, i would say it's a little rougher on your skates I did try to on a few different skates and it is a little rougher on your skates depending on what you use. I try it with the Jade skates, the stock Atlantis skates, um the control skates as well from the, the obsidian one from um East Burst Tiger. But the glide I would say is it's really rough on your, your mouse feet. I I, would, I get I get like a lot of feedback from the pad because the pad is a little more on the abrasive side but it is i would say it's kind of similar to the venter ice just a little slower but you if you don't like abrasion i would say you would might want to pass on this pad i'm not sure how long the coating will last but it might be a fire pad once the coating actually wears off but it would be a little rougher i would say but I haven't had any issues with the week or two I used it for. No humidity issues. The glide, I would say, is pretty on the faster side. You do have just a hair of control, not really anything. I would say a little more than like the Vents or Ice. But yeah, this is the Hitu. Um, it says it's electroplated glass glaze coating. Uh, not sure what that really means, but you shouldn't have any issues with it like laying flat or anything because, yeah, it's, the base is really solid. I would say it's a soft base and no issues really with the base. Um, no, it sticks well, does all those lines, but I would say, as far as the glide, I would give it probably like a, probably an eight ish or so depending on your skates i would say because it really I, f I feel like it really depends on your skates and i would say bigger skates would work better these are really new skates so they might be a little rougher but they do seem to glide better than the smaller ones and that's probably the biggest issue with this pad but they as far as control wise you wouldn't have really hardly any control maybe just a hair but yeah, that's the hit too. All right, the next one's gonna be. Let's see which. There's so many pads. Give or the names give me like switched up. The Layling. Um, I really like this pad more than the other one. It does seem like it has like a little glittery effect for some reason, and some some waves of light. Not sure what that is but um i would say this one's does have some control i do i did find that i did like this pad a little more it kind of reminded me of like some of their older pads the one with the like boozy the, the i think it was the blue version or pink version but it really reminded me of that pad the surface filling is not really abrasive, but you, it does have some texture. I would say this one's probably a seven or so for speed wise. And control, you do have just a touch more, probably like a three to four. -ish. Um, the pad is size at 480 by 400. It does say this one is four on. Um, it's a soft base. It says it can be rolled, but cannot be rolled backwards. 
to watch that. But this one was, I would say it's, I really enjoyed the most of these pads, honestly. They're higher quality feeling. And it's really impressive stuff from Ad or Eats vs. Tiger. And I'm really surprised they stepped to their quality as well as they did from other pads being like rolled and stuff. But the base, you shouldn't have any issues with the base. It's, it sticks really well. Um, I would say you shouldn't have any issues as far as texture. It does have a little texture, but it's not abrasive to the skin. It kind of feels, hmm, like a, I would say like a smoother, maybe like Venus or so. It does remind me of that. Pricing for the the Hitu I just went over is thirty five dollars, so that's on the cheaper side. The Leyling will run you fifty, and I think all the other pads will run you fifty. Ship flat, and stitch edgings are under the surface, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. But that's the Leyling, and the next one is um this one reminded me kind of a like a Raiden when they're when I would say. When it's worn in, maybe a little more. It's around that speed, but this one's really, really nice quality to, as well. Like all of these are quality. This one seems to like attract, like dust and stuff on the pad, and so if you don't like that, you might not like this pad. But I would say this one's a, around the same speed, maybe like a touch faster. It feels than the other one, so. This one's 45 bucks and the size is 480 by 400 or millimeters thick. It's a soft base. I would say this one may have like a touch slower control than the one I just did the Leyling. So I'd put it in a two, depending on your skates, of course. Um, it does seem to have a little more control with the bigger skates. But yeah, this is more like a nylon filling pad, so it's not really rough or anything. Really smooth on your skates as well. I would say if you like the rating, you would probably like this pad. But let's see, the stitch edgings is below the surface, so no issues. The colors are just black, so it would be nice to have like a different color since this kind of like cracks like a dust and stuff because it seems to attract it pretty well and I, I, I haven't used this pad too much I'm, it's kind of weird but i'm sure a lint roller will get it off but i would say this is a solid pad if you want like a, a rating alternative or something it's a little cheaper i would guess um but this is the wooji and the next one would be the Ling, I believe is Finling. They're these names. Actually, no. Yeah, I don't don't have the Feiling. All right, this is gonna be the Chun Yun. This was one of my more favorite pads. It's really smooth. It does seem to have like a little more control than the other pads as well. I would give this glide maybe a six to seven, depending on the skate. It does really well with skates and really smooth on the skin. The surface is, it says a dense plain weave. The base is a four on 480 by 400. They say their speed is fast, but I wouldn't really say this is fast. I, maybe it's my skates that I'm using, but I would say this one's probably the six or so. I have used this pad a lot more than those, so that may be the case because I I really enjoyed this pad. The color's nice. Um, it would I would kind of want to see how the black one. The black one probably feels. A little different, I would say, because since most different colors matter, 
but yeah, I, I really, I really do enjoy this pad. This is probably one of my more favorite ones that I've used. And if you want like a smoother claw surface filling, I'd say this one's probably your go-to, honestly. That's got a good bit of speed and a decent amount of, amount of control. I would say I would put this one probably like 3.5 to 4 in control. Speed would probably be around 6 to 7 depending on skates because it seems like, yeah, these big, big ass skates, it's like the worst design of any mouse skate, honestly. I don't, I don't know why it has one small or like smaller skate on the bottom and then a fat one on the top because it's so fucking terrible. Because like the top one gets really fucking muddy and then your bottom one. It, it's not as muddy so it, it kind of feels like your your front of your mouse is dragging which is, so it's like a terrible design but I, I really enjoyed this pad this is probably one of the these two the last two are the ones i would recommend the most out of all of them the, the stitching's fine everything along those lines fine the pad itself costs 50 dollars rolled it's, it's shipped flat so no issues there um would be cool to see like some different colors like a, a darker color that was like maybe like a purple or orange or something gray of course i love gray um because i could see this pad getting really dirty not sure how the black one is it could be a little different as far as like getting dirty and you know like speed because you there's difference as in most colored pads on most of them some maybe they're the same but honestly notice a different in some of them but that is the chunyon uh really recommend this pad if you want like the smooth pad the base is solid sticks well to the desk it, it literally like glues to the desk but that's a great pad. Um, this is going to be the Zhang Hang Dao. This pad really reminds me of the Raiden. I meant the Zero. Um, I believe the black one's a little slower than this one. But yeah, I would say if you want like a pink Zero, this is probably your pad because it literally feels almost identical to the pad. It's $50. You got black and pink. It's shift flat. Your edges are underneath this, the surface, so no issues there. I would say this one's probably like a six to seven or so. Um, the the base on this one is really solid, like the last one. No issues with that. It sticks well to your desk. I would say this one's more of your like soft just in between mid i would say soft more on the softer side of mid but this is one of my more favorite ones as well 480 by 400 four millimeters thick boron no issues so far i use this pad probably and the chun yun the most out of all of them it hasn't really got dirty at all but if you do like the zero, I would say this is probably a nice alternative with a different color. But that would be the series of the Shanghai. Thanks for watching. I'll like, sub. I'll try to get some more videos out. I do want to do a review on the gates. Like the X ray pads ones. I do have some core pads I did recently, used recently before these jades. They were a little better than the older ones, but yeah. And I do have a, like the Tiger Eyes as well. But um, have a good day for controllers, of course, because they're ruining Apex and that game's dying because of it. And it's pretty sad because the game's pretty fucking nice. That wasn't a thing. But have a good day. Keep your head up. And thanks for watching. Bye.